it's Demi Mike Silver here again, back for another tweet along. I'm looking forward to answering some more of your questions and following up some great investigations we had yesterday. So right now we're going to a call. It's a domestic disturbance. Uh, caller called in and said her niece put her hands on her when she called in. She was out of breath. She made it seem like she was in the middle of a fight. So right now that's what we're responding to to make sure everybody's okay and find out what happened. So Deputy Bischoff and I responded out here to the domestic disturbance. We made contact with the caller. She didn't really want uh, law enforcement's assistance. We were able to determine that it was a minor altercation that took place with a, a long distant friend of hers. So if she doesn't want to do anything with it, the other person has left. Everything has calmed down here. So we're going to go ahead and leave everybody. We're responding to a domestic disturbance call where um, it was a 911 call. The caller had hung up and didn't give any information to the dispatcher. But we do have history on the phone, and the history is of, of verbal disturbance with their neighbor. So what we think is happening is we think the neighbors are arguing with each other again. Because we don't have much information, we're going to go out there and make sure everybody's okay. But we'll keep you posted on what happens. So we are still en route to this unverified 911 call, but we think it's a domestic disturbance. So while en route, we found out that the neighborhood we're going to is a local nudist colony. So for obvious reasons, we're not going to be able to record while we're in there. But we'll give you an update as soon as we figure out what happened. So we responded to the area of the disturbance call, what came in as an unverified 911. Uh, we made contact at the locations where we had the previous call history. Nobody was home. We made contact with some passers-by who said they were familiar with the issues, but they couldn't provide any information as to why somebody would call 911. So we looked through the area. We didn't notice anything suspicious. So we cleared the call and we let some neighbors know if they hear anything or see anything to call us back and let us know we'll come out there and make sure everybody's okay. So earlier today we had a citizen call in to complain that their mini bike had been stolen out of their garage. Right now they have information that their neighbor is actually trying to sell it online. So we're working with the owner to try to set up a sting so that we can catch the neighbor in possession of the stolen motorbike and trying to sell it so that we can place that person under arrest. So we'll keep you posted on how that turns out. So right now we are setting up down the street. Uh, we got two of our star unit deputies who are gonna approach the house in an undercover car. They're gonna try to make contact with the individual selling the uh, motorcycle. And then when they give us the code word, we're gonna move in and we're gonna attempt to take the subject into custody as safely as possible. Right now, we uh, we made contact with the individual who was posted online to sell the bike. Uh, we're going to go ahead and interview him. We're going to verify that this bike is the one that was reported stolen. We're going to interview a couple other witnesses on scene. As our investigation continues, we're going to be able to figure out exactly if this was a bike that was represented online and if that's a bike that was stolen. We'll let you know what happened. Play Todd like you mean it. Come on, buddy. Come on. Don't let him win. Don't let him win. Good boy, JR. You get that toy from him. You take it from him. Good boy. Don't let him win. Right now we're en route to a call that we received from the Veterans Crisis Hotline. They have an individual on the other end of the line who's stating that he's been fighting for his life and he doesn't want to live anymore. He's been storing up pills and he said he plans to take his own life in the next 24 hours. So we're in a hurry to get there to make sure we can keep him safe and get him the help he needs. So we responded to the suicide threats in progress call. We made contact with the individual. He was elderly. He's dealing with a lot of serious health issues. And uh, unfortunately, he's going through some very tough times right now. He made contact with the Veterans Crisis Hotline. They called us. We came out here. We spoke to him. We were able to determine that he is in need of immediate medical help. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring him to the hospital. He gave us permission to take some uh, hydrocodone that he had that he was thinking about using to overdose on. So we're gonna go ahead and keep this for safekeeping. Uh, that way he doesn't get tempted to use it in the future if he does want to take his life. He did the right thing and called the crisis hotline and gave us the opportunity to get him the help he needs tonight. 
Deputy Mike Southern here again. If you or a loved one or anybody you know has any narcotics or any prescription pills that you don't want in your household anymore, whether they pose a danger to yourself, somebody else, or for any reason you want to dispose of them properly, here in the District 3 office, we have a, uh, it's a drug diversion bin. This is where you can bring that property. You can open this up, put it in there. See, we had somebody try to put it in, put it in here. Close it up, it'll be properly disposed of, no questions asked. This is a resource available to our citizens, just something else that the Sheriff's Office can do to try to help everybody out there. It's here for you the D3 office if you need it. All right, Twitter, this concludes our tweet along for the evening. It was an honor to have you guys follow me tonight. I hope I answered most of your questions. If you have any more questions, keep them coming in. We'll try to reply to them. But for tonight, the tweet along is over. I had a blast, and I look forward to seeing you all soon.